I want to quickly do a comparative analysis of uh, SumUp, Square, Zettle, Clover, Shopify, and Lightspeed. Of course, we're speaking about credit card readers, and it's very important to understand that when we analyze credit card readers, we pay attention to three important criteria, affordability, convenience, and most importantly, integration. In other words, how well the credit card reader integrates with the other apps and software tools that you are running in your business. I want to start with uh, Square. So when you think about Square, you got to think about an established brand name, right? They've been around for a while now, and we love the fact that Square offers an omni-channel solution for s small businesses within a specific industry or niche. And the cool thing is with Square, as a business, you can manage inventory, customer data, and uh, sales from one platform. So the centrality of the platform tracking is fantastic with Square. And iPhone users just got access to contactless payments with Square, thanks to NFC technology, in other words, in the air field technology. So that's what we love also with uh, Square. You have this sort of mobile portability. And so you don't need a headset jack either. And this is kind of cool. So when we talk about pricing, Square's point of sale software is free and you want to have you don't have to pay a monthly fee. Rather, you pay for your hardware. In other words, you get your first Mac Stripe reader for free and then contactless is $49 and processing fees of 2.6 to 2.9% plus 10 cents to uh, 30 cents per transaction. And so who should really use the Square card reader? Well, small businesses with an, with an, uh, an iOS or Android device looking for a contactless credit card reader solution and powerful inventory management software tool. This is really important. And uh, here are the pros and cons of uh, the Square card reader. The pros, they have uh, the POS app is free, NFC technology in its newest card reader, no monthly fee, and one free card reader. Here are the cons. Now you have uh, the BNPL afterpay transactions have expensive processing fees, buy now, pay later, that's what it means, and add-ons such as email marketing, loyalty, and gift cards can be costly. So it's all about what really works for you. So all in all, in our, in our analysis, Square offers the most comprehensive card reader service while managing to maintain a user-friendly experience of all its products. On top of that, it is a brand name that is well known. You know, this is kind of cool. So Square, uh, all in all, it's a great card reader. Let me talk to you now about Shopify. By the way, welcome back to the channel. Really appreciate having you here. We're having a quick comparative analysis of six card readers and Shopify is the second one. So Shopify is great for online businesses and they have a starting price at $29 per month. The cost per reader is $49 and the processing fees start at 2.4% plus one to zero, one to uh, five, $5 per transaction. And the reason why we love Shopify is that it's one of the biggest names in e-commerce and for good reason. Shopify's platform, their platform, makes it easy to set up an online store and start selling products. With Shopify's credit card reader, you can take your business offline and accept payments anywhere. The credit card reader connects to your iPhone and Android devices via Bluetooth and allows you to accept chip, Mac, Stripe, and contactless payments. Fantastic. In terms of pricing, Shopify POS Lite start at $29 per month, and you will pay credit card processing fees starting at 2.5 to 2.7%, plus zero to five dollar per, tr per transaction. With its Shopify plan, you pay $79 per month and 2.5% plus 0.0 to five dollars per transaction. Its advanced plan costs $299 per month and you will pay 2.4% plus uh, zero to five dollar per, per transaction. So this is really important. Now, if you want iOS, specifically iOS compatible hardware, this will cost you $49. So who should use Shopify? Well, small businesses that are looking for an all-in-one solution to their e-commerce business, including credit, credit card processing, inventory management, and point of sale. What are the pros and cons based on our analysis here? When you look at Shopify, the pros are you have free shipping of the card reader. The card reader itself weighs only 0.15 of a pound, so this is really, really light. And with Shopify, you have 24-7 support. What are the cons here? Well, with Shopify, of course, they want you to have either the Shopify lights, 
the standard plan or the Shopify plan or the advanced plan. So you will pay a monthly fee even if you sell nothing that month. So you got to really understand. So your break even your break even point becomes uh, higher because you have the those the fixed cost anyway, no matter what. And uh, another inconvenience is that another drawback is that supply chain issues mean hardware is often on back order. So those are things you really have to think about. And Shopify is a behemoth in the e-commerce world. And sometimes they are really slow. Their customer service is available 24-7, but they're not always responsive. They're not always responsive. Let me quickly talk to you now about Lightspeed. By the way, just want to quickly remind you of today's conversation. We are analyzing and contrasting six card readers. So we have uh, SumUp, Square, Zettle, Clover, Shopify, and uh, PayPal Zettle. And the one thing I want to say here is that uh, Lightspeed is, Lightspeed, when you think about Lightspeed, I want you to think about a card reader that's great for retailers. And their starting price, $69 per month. The cost per reader, they has to be based on the quote. They have to quote you. And they have processing fees for of a 2.6% plus 10 cents per transaction. And we love uh, Lightspeed because it is a cloud-based POS and retail management system. So Lightspeed actually offers more than just a card reader. Okay, it is well, the way we look at it. We look at it as an all-in-one solution. Okay, it is designed for businesses of all sizes, but it's especially helpful for retailers who need to track inventory and sales data. With Lightspeed, you can connect multiple credit card readers to your iPhone and or Android device, and you can take payments anywhere. The credit card reader accepts chip, max drive, and contactless payments. Okay. In terms of pricing here, now pricing, in our view, Lightspeed is a little expensive than the others. So Lightspeed offers planes ranging from $69 per month to $199 per month when paid annually. And card present transactions are 2.6% plus 10 cents per transaction. For hardware, you must obtain a quote from its sales team. And the sales team, the thing is that Lightspeed is pretty cool in terms of their sales team is really responsive, but their customer service needs to do a better job. Okay, so who should really use Lightspeed? If you are in retail, if you are a retail business, and no matter the size, and if you need a robust retail management system, including uh, credit card processing, inventory management, and point of sale, go for Lightspeed. What are the pros and cons here? The pros. Mobile tap accepts contactless payments, discounts when using Lightspeed payments, 24-7 customer support, each account gets an account manager, and that account manager is really good. He or she is really responsive. Lightspeed does a great job at that. And inventory management, in our view, is superb with Lightspeed. What about the cons? Hardware pricing is not transparent. They're trying to really add on a lot of, a lot, a lot of, uh, they're trying to, you know, upsell you, whatever. So Lightspeed, please stop that. And mobile tap is only available to Lightspeed payment users. It's very expensive compared to other POS system. They are trying to uh, bug you into a lengthy contract and it's not very easy to cancel. So before you choose Lightspeed, please think twice because they are very, very difficult trying to play games with you when it, when it comes to uh, canceling. So be very careful here, okay? And in terms of uh, their uh, their POS, they have lean, standard, advanced, and enterprise uh, pricing, pricing tiers, but it is what it is. Let me quickly talk to you now about SumUp Plus. So when you think about SumUp Plus, I want you to think about one of the cheapest all-in-one readers in today's conversation, okay? First of all, there is no monthly fee, no contractual lock-in. The card reader will cost you 35 bucks, okay? You have chip, swap, and tap rate, 2.75%. If you have the, the key rate is 3.25% uh, plus 15 cents. And they have free payouts in one to two business days and uh, it works pretty well with the sum up app the thing is that when we when we analyze all those six players into this conversation sum up plus card reader came up to be in our view the least intimidating credit card terminal for android and uh, iphones okay and it costs only 35 dollars up front think about it and it, they do accept nfc contactless they accept emv chip and magnetic strap cars and mobile wallets there is no contractual commitment or monthly cost, and the transaction rate is a fixed 2.75%. Okay. Now the thing is, because the fee is only a percentage per transaction, 
Sum up is a great incentive, a great alternative rather, for merchants with small transaction sizes. So my question to you is right now, what is your transactional value? If it's really, really slow, if it's really low, then you want to go with sum up because uh, of the way their uh, their pricing is baked in in the contract. And there's no contract, by the way. And one thing we love about sum up is the fact that it's very convenient too. Very, very convenient. Let's quickly go through the pros and cons of this uh, card reader. So the pros, the reader processes all three payment types. Okay. We're, we're speaking about Max Drive. We're speaking about NFC and uh, EMV. And there is no monthly fee. Fees are transparent and easy to understand. And it has a screen to display transaction details. What about the cons? Now, SumUp has less robust POS software features. Okay. And the thing is, we love SumUp overall because, again, it can process more than 500 to 750 transactions on, on a single power charge. It has a screen to display transaction details, so you won't, you don't have to share your personal device with the customer. SumUp charges a competitive rate of 2.75% for in-person transactions, and there are no monthly fees. The only thing is they just need to actually invest a lot more in their POS software features. Okay, so SumUp, if you're listening to this, you guys, you, you guys need to do a little bit more, but overall, great products. Let me talk to you now about PayPal Zero. And by the way, just want to quickly remind everybody that today's conversation revolves around a comparative analysis of six card readers. We have Square, Shopify, Lightspeed, SumUp Plus, PayPal Zero, and Clover Go. I want to talk now about PayPal Zero. The thing is that if you are a PayPal merchant, in other words, you are already in the PayPal conglomerate or in uh, the PayPal e- ecosystem, go with Zero. This is this is better. You have no monthly fee, no contractual lock-in. You, the PayPal Zettle Reader you have is uh, will cost you twenty nine dollars. You have the tap and dip rate two point twenty nine percent plus nine cents per transaction. That's for the tap and dip. And for the keyed rate you have three point forty nine percent plus nine cents. And the cool thing is in some in some cases they also will uh, waive those cross border and currency conversion fees. Okay. And now they do have they do have same day payout in online account. And they work pretty well with Zettle Go app. So the latest credit card reader from PayPal, the PayPal Zettle Reader, is quite affordable when you think about it at $29. Okay. And the card reader accepts contactless and chip EMV card payments and has a keypad for pin entry. The transaction fee is a fixed 2.29. This is pretty good percent plus nine cents for all domestic debit and credit cards. A cross-border fee is usually added, but they, they can waive it for you depending on your transactional volume with them okay and uh, based on our analysis paypal can be quite expensive for those with lots of tourists or foreign customers why because they are charging you a cross-border fee of 1.5 percent to all non-us cards and a further currency conversion charge of three percent is added where a conversion a, a currency rather a currency was converted the thing is we have to ask yourself what do you what do you find yourself in the in the industry what kind of clients are you talking about do you have uh, foreign current uh, foreign clients a lot or are you just serving primarily domestic clients so if you just serving domestic clients you don't want to go with PayPal not at all I mean the, I mean you want to go you want to go with PayPal I just misspoke if you only have domestic clients you want to go with PayPal Okay, because if you have foreign foreign uh, clients, it will be very expensive for you. So one thing we love the greatest value of PayPal Zettle. When you think about it, it's 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 uh, integration with your PayPal account, which may be linked to e-commerce sales. When in-person sales are recorded in the same account, it makes it a lot easier to analyze your overall sales. Okay, so that's what it is. And the PayPal Zettle app gives you essential features like tipping discounts and a product library to keep track of items sold you can even accept paypal qr codes keyed payments and cash and send payments links and email invoices from the app fantastic i want to talk to you now about the last player in today's conversation we have a clover go now when you think about clover go we love the fact that it's a uh, a card reader that is available offline so you have offline mode and merchant account 
And in terms of uh, the uh, the monthly fee, you were paying somewhere from from uh, zero dollars to thirty nine ninety five per month. No lock in, no cancellation fee. The card reader price ninety nine dollars. You have uh, in terms of uh, they have planes that are really uh, a little confusing here. So you have uh, all the way to nine point ninety five per month. Not that's it, ten dollars per month. If you are going to the first plan, the first tier, and uh, you have 2.6% plus 10 cents, per, 10 cents per tap EMV payments per transaction. And then the second plan, you have uh, $40 per, per month. And you here, you will pay 2.3% plus 10 cents per tap EMV payments. And what we love about uh, Glover Go is that you have free payout in bank account. And it works pretty well with Clover Go app. One thing I want to say here is that when you when we analyze Clover Go and uh, Square, they're pretty similar. I mean, those two card readers are pretty analogous. Okay, the only difference is that uh, Clover Go accepts swipe as well as EMV cards and contactless payments at a higher price point. In other words, the ninety nine dollars to purchase it is the most expensive device on uh, in today's conversation. And the credit card reader works with the Clover Go app on Android devices, and the amount of app features depend on your chosen subscription. And the thing is, when you analyze their pricing, there is a free plan where you just buy the card reader and pay 2.6% plus 10 cents per contactless or ch chip card payment. But then you already have uh, core functions like accepting cards, viewing transactions, and sending digital receipts. The thing is, when you think about Clover, I want you to think about first. How, how many transactions do you, on average rather, on average that is, do you process every month? And number two, where, do, do, do you need portability? Do you need mobile portability? In other words, do you just want to have a card reader that's uh, just a static in your restaurant or in your store? Or do you want some kind of portability, some mobile card reader? Okay, the thing here, the thing you have to understand is that Clovergo is a portable card reader, an app that together accept payments, card payment cards, by EMV, chip, swap, and NFC contactless. The wireless square-shaped terminal fits in the palm of your hand and connects to the app in your, on your smartphone or tablet via Bluetooth. Okay, so overall, it's a great, it's a great account. And what we love here is that um, Clover is constantly innovating. Okay, basically, you are able to manage your merchant account, but also your uh, your inventory also. So overall, fantastic. Let me quickly have a conversation about card readers in general. You need to understand that uh, thanks to inexpensive credit card readers, most small businesses can now afford to take card payments with the help of an, an Android phone or tablets or even iPhone. Okay, To accept cards with an Android phone or iPhone, you need to create an account with a card reader company, buy a card reader to connect with your, your device, and you need to download the associated mobile payment app on your tablet or smartphone so it's very easy and and the cool thing here is that swap only readers are plugged into your phone with an audio plug and typically a device i mean typically a card reader for chip emv or contactless nfc payments is wireless connected with your phone via bluetooth when the app is connected with the reader you can accept your first card payments not a problem and the thing is when you want to analyze let's say you are thinking about analyzing the best the best card for you. It's really in, in, important to understand that we, you have to pay attention to uh, features. So for us, when we analyze credit card readers, we pay attention to a lot of things. As I said at the beginning of this show, we pay attention to price, affordability, and integration. But we also go further. We pay attention to features, ease of use, customer support, and credit card processing fees. I mean, the processing fees are part of uh, what we call affordability, okay? And uh, the thing here is that we have to understand, when it comes to features, we always look for credit card readers that accept the major credit card types, including Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Discover. And we also consider credit card readers that accept contactless payments, such as Apple Pay and Google Pay. This is very important. And ease of use is really, really critical because you want your staff to fully understand how to use the credit card. Otherwise, you know, you'll be wasting a lot of cash, a lot of time, and a lot of revenue if people, are tr if people need to find out how to use the device even before actually uh, using it 
to accept payments, okay? So ease of use is quite essential for any credit card reader, but it's especially important for uh, mobile credit card readers because you will likely be using it on the on the go. And so we looked, we looked at credit card readers that are easy to set up and use. So this is really important. Of course, we pay it, we paid attention to price, but for us, pricing is not an important criterion in, in terms of uh, because you have to think about why do you need the why do you need the specific credit card reader in the first place. So if you have the resources and you want to reach a, a certain goal and you really need to uh, serve your customers, price becomes a second or third criterion. So let's have a decision here. Square, we have sum up versus Square versus Zettel versus Clover versus Shopify versus Lightspeed. Which one should you choose? Of course, we are speaking about a credit card reader for iPhone or Android. Very important. So there are a few things to consider when choosing a credit card reader for iPhone or Android. The first is features. My question to you is, what kind of features are you looking for? Boss, talk to me. What kind of features are you are, are relevant to your operation? Because uh, depending on the company that you have, the features might be different, okay? So are you looking for, so those features will depend again on the business. Make sure the credit card reader you choose accepts the major credit card types, including Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Discover, okay? So this is really important. And also make sure, especially if you have a younger generation, if you have a younger clientele, make sure that the credit card reader, reader that you choose accept contactless payments such as apple pay and google pay and this is really important now another question i want to ask you here is that do you need your pos app to have a built-in crm client relationship management software tool if so you will want to choose a credit card reader that has this feature okay this is really important another important consideration is ease of use as i said before you want to choose a credit card you reader that's very easy to set up and use because you're not really spending time in trying to have you know cost trying to call customer service to kind of help you out and figure out how to use the the device you don't want that it must be user friendly and it must be uh, intuitive okay and this is important now some credit card readers come with their own apps while others integrate with existing POS systems so consider which option will be easier for you to, to use okay and the thing is what does your budget allow you to buy sum up Square, Zettel, Clover, Shopify, or Lightspeed. Which one? Okay, it's important. Some credit card readers are free to download and use, while others charge they charge a monthly uh, fee. Make sure you choose a credit card reader that fits your budget. Okay. Finally, you want to consider customer support. If you have questions or need help troubleshooting, you want to choose a credit card reader that has responsive customer support. Because the last thing you want is just to, uh, you know, be on the phone, be stuck on the phone and just hitting zeros, 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 zeros. Or even worse, having an automated an automated uh, phone system where, whereby you call and nobody picks up the phone. You definitely don't want that. After analyzing and contrasting sum up, Square, Zettel, Clover, Shopify, and Lightspeed, our pick for the best mobile card reader is Square. We believe Square is uh, is really great in turn is more is greater and uh, better and fuller than other than the other five. So we have uh, rated Square 9.8 over 10, sum up 9.5 over 10, Zettel 9.1 over 10, Clover. 8.9 over 10, Shopify 8.8 over 10, and Lightspeed 8.4 over 10. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I will see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous. <laughs>